Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from eGetTech. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the global ROM in case you've got the Chinese version of the Red Magic 5G, which I do right here. I put up the download link for the global ROM on the description guys so just check it out there. And good news to those who don't have a PC at home because you can actually do this on the phone itself. You just have to navigate to that download link for the global ROM and just put it on the root of your phone and you're good to go. In this case, I already downloaded the file and copied it over to my phone so I can actually go ahead and start the update guys so I'll show you where to go. Just have to go to settings. Scroll down and you've got a system update right there. And then you press the three dots up here on the upper right. And you're going to see a couple of options here. Just go to local update. I, I renamed the zip file and added an EN so that I can tell the difference between the Chinese ROM and the global ROM. So of course, I'm going to be choosing the global ROM for this update. So just select that and click on install now and just wait for the magic to happen. Alright guys, so it's up and running and if you want to check whether it's actually the global ROM, go to settings, about phone and you can check on the build number here it says NX659J EN. So that EN denotes that this is the global ROM running on version 3.11. So of course since it's the global ROM you should have the Play Store which I do right here and it's running correctly. Alright, something I didn't expect is that I don't have any icons on my home screen so I think it completely reset my home screen so you have to set it up again from scratch. Not too hard to do but yeah, at least you didn't have to do a factory reset so you don't lose any of your data. So go ahead and try it out guys and let me know how it goes. And if you want to go back to the Chinese ROM, you just basically reverse the process. Instead of updating with the global ROM, I can show it to you real quick here guys. So go back to system update, local update and you'll still see the update files that you have put on the root folder. So if I wanted to go back to the Chinese ROM, I just have to flash this Chinese file again. Alright, that was a quick one guys. I hope you won't face any problems while doing it. But if so, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to help out. Until then, we'll end this quick video here guys. As usual, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification and see you all in my next one.